and I said, listen, you, you can have a chance to touch the blood of Tesla. You can tell your children, your grandchildren, if you're lucky, your great-grandchildren, because I am the last living blood of Tesla. Uh, all others, uh, and there were very few of us. Our, our family tree is, uh, uh, as I like to say, it's like a telephone pole, not like a Christmas tree. Just to tell you uh, that Tesla had uh, a brother who died young and uh, three sisters. Those three sisters had only 10 children between them. Those 10 children had only five children. Those five children are in my line, the Trapojevich line, and I'm the last of that line. When I met Tesla, when I was around nine or 10 years old, he treated me with a particularly uh, familiar, familial great respect, hugged me and kissed me, which was a great surprise to me because I was brought up in a much more conventional English-oriented household. My, my father may have been his nephew, but my mother was uh, much more socially or oriented, and I was expected to shake hands with Mr. Tesla. I was a little bit shocked when he hugged me and kissed me, as uh, you do for a Serb, and, uh, and then messed my hair a little bit, uh, because you hear so many stories about how, uh, uh, how driven he was. One time when uh, Tesla was visiting my father in Detroit, and uh, my father thought it would be appropriate uh, to take him to the best hotel in uh, Detroit, uh, a, a hotel called the Book Cadillac. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid the hotel now may not even exist anymore because Detroit hardly exists anymore. But um, they just came at their own time. They were going to go have, have lunch of some sort. And, well, the, the uh, host at the door the Mater D, the manager, everybody, they, they were delighted to see Tesla there. They all started f surrounding him to uh, see that anything he wanted he could have. What would you like, uh, Dr. Tesla? Well, um, I think I would like to have a chafing dish, some milk and some bread. And so they brought out a chafing dish with a little alcohol fire under it. He put the milk in, put in some bread, and they all were shocked, <laughs> shocked and embarrassed because they were expecting that he would next to have some very fine fish or very fine steak or something like that. And uh, he didn't, didn't mind that at all. He just proceeded as he was going to do whatever he wanted to do without uh, uh, being embarrassed. <laughs>